In today's video, we're making some budget decor for the garden and porch. Here we go. I had some outdoor garden projects that I wanted to work on, and Arteza sent me this set of 20 outdoor acrylic paints, which I thought would be great for the job. I like these paints because you have a lot of options in colors, whereas with spray paint, you have a lot of options, but you have to buy a whole can. So this is a more economical way to get many colors because you get 20 of them. You don't get a ton of paint. They're each about the size of a regular bottle of acrylic paint. But the best part about this is that it's made for outdoors. So if it lives up to its name, the projects that I make should look nice the entire summer without me having to go through the extra step of spraying them with an acrylic sealant because they are self sealing. For my first project, I chose the white as well as this turquoise color. For this project, you also need a terracotta pot and saucer. I'm going to be making a garden mushroom. This is something that I saw on Pinterest. I picked up my terracotta pot and saucer from Ace Hardware, but these are widely available. You can even find some smaller sizes at the Dollar Tree, or you might have some in your stash. You also need some outdoor waterproof glue. I chose to use E6000. First thing I did was to remove the price tags and then I gave it a good cleaning because even though these are new pots, you know, they sit out, they were out in the garden center and things collect dirt and you wanna make sure anytime you use a paint, you're giving it the best chance of adherence. So I just used a household cleaner and some paper towels and gave it a good wipe down. And once they were wiped down, I went ahead and started painting them with my outdoor acrylic paints. Now these pots are made of terracotta, which is a porous substance. So I could have given it a coat of outdoor Mod Podge and that probably would have helped my paint not absorb as much into the terracotta, but I didn't have any on hand. That is one recommendation I would make if you decide to try this project. Anytime you're painting raw terracotta, give it a little bit of a primer first. The paint went on fine, I just, I had to use extra coats in order to get the coverage that I wanted because it was absorbing into the terracotta. So I did the same thing with the pot. I used the white paint and each piece required about two coats of paint plus maybe a little extra if there were any spots that looked a little light. Once the paint dried, I grabbed my little pouncer. Now this is normally used for stenciling. I had it in my stash, but you can get these at hardware stores and craft stores. And I went ahead and used some of the white paint to create little dots, polka dots on my mushroom top. And the way that I found that worked was to get some paint on there, push it down, and then give it a slight little twist. And that helped me to make the round dots. I also made sure that some of the dots went onto the side of the, the mushroom top just to give it a more three-dimensional effect. And then once that was all done, all that was left to do was to glue the mushroom top to the mushroom base. So that's where I pulled out my E6000. And you'll notice I did not paint either surface that was going to be touching. Sometimes paint impedes the adhesion of glue. So if I can, I usually just leave it unpainted. So I left the bottom of the pot unpainted as well as the bottom of the little saucer. And so I put my E6000 on and just kind of centered it. And then I set it aside to dry. Because this is outdoor paint, there's no extra steps to take, so I didn't need to coat it with anything, and I just put it in my garden. Here's how it looks. I think it's adorable. I might make more in other colors now that I have all these paints. For my next project, you might remember this birdhouse. I found it at the first yard sale I went to this season for $3. I think it was really cute. I had planned to use it as a bird feeder, but you'll see at the end, it turned out so cute that I decided I'm just gonna use it for decor. So first I had to clean off this bird feeder, it, or I guess birdhouse. It didn't look like they had really used it outside. So I just needed to give it a light wipe down because I have had it sitting outside for the last few weeks as I waited to get this project done. So again, I just used my household cleaner and gave it a little bit of a wipe down. 
Then once it was all wiped down, I chose the paints I was going to use. I knew I wanted to do this in a red, white, and blue theme because that's what I do out on my front porch. So I chose the red, white, and blue paints that are available in this Arteza set. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll have information in my description box below, as well as a coupon code. I do get a small commission if you make any purchases from these links. For this project, I used a foam brush as well as some smaller paint brushes that I had in my stash. For the roof, I decided to use each of the roof slats as a stripe. So I did a striped red and blue roof, which I thought was really fun. Then on the base of the birdhouse, I decided to just use kind of a dry brush technique. I liked the wood showing through and that was kind of true to the way this birdhouse was originally designed. But just to note, if you keep any of the wood showing, you do need to use a little bit of a clear coat. And at the end I did that, although I don't have footage of it. Here's what it looked like all painted up. I did take a little bit of sandpaper and just roughed up the star as well as the welcome sign, because the welcome sign was roughed up when I started the project and I liked the way that that looked, so I sort of wanted to make sure I retained that look. But again, I did put clear coat on the welcome sign and the red base, because that's where wood is showing. And I loved how much it turned out that I changed my plan for it and decided to use it as a piece of decor on my porch. My porch is mostly open to the elements. Now this does have the weatherproof paint on it, so it should be okay, but I know it's not perfectly sealed. There's parts of it that are still showing. So it'll have some protection on my porch. There is a bit of an awning from the overhang from the roof. I love how it turned out. My porch currently is in complete disarray because we're painting our house, but these are all the things that it will be near so you can kind of get an idea of what it will look like. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed these budget-friendly DIYs that I've created for the porch and garden areas of my home. Until my next video, thanks for watching.